And good day. Today we're having a look at Cura and Octoprint and just showing you how easy it is to connect the two together. You load Cura, select plugins, scroll down to Octoprint and install it. And uh, once it's physically installed, you have to then reboot Cura, which we will do right away. Now I've reloaded Cura and uh, what we're going to do is go to settings, select printer, manage printers. You'll now notice we've got connect Octa print here. So whichever printer you have active, that's the one that will show connect. So you click on connect, it's now going to ask for an API key. So we have to get that from the browser and uh, here we go here and uh, I will connect just so we've got the printer fired up then we go to the little wrench up here we're looking for the API which is this one and there's the information right there so we definitely need to get that and uh, we'll just simply copy that we use alternate tab to take us back to Cura and down here we just simply paste it in there's the API key now you can show the webcam because that's what I want um, we will now click connect, close, and our monitor, if all goes well, there it is, there's Octoprint running. So what we're going to do now is we'll come back to prepare because we need the file. So we'll open up one, I want to do that one there. So there's our little file, it's now sliced. And then you notice down here we've got print with Octoprint. We just simply click on that. and. Uh, You'll notice we've got a new window over on the right hand side and it's got the build plate temperature. Uh, you can see the preheat is actually moving up. So Octoprint is now running nicely and that's from within Cura. We don't have to open Octoprint in the browser anymore. So pretty impressive. I'll uh, let this thing print and once it starts we'll come back and have a bit of a look at it. And uh, any second now we should have a bit of action on the camera. So. <laughs> We'll wait and see what happens. And there we go, something's moving. So the printer's just about to start, so that's excellent. So I've already got a time lapse set up. So once this is finished printing, we'll come back, have a look at the time lapse, and uh, hopefully all shall be good. And as you can see, the printer has finished printing. The extruder is cooling down. Build plate is uh, dropping temperature again. Now let's have a little look at Octoprint. and we'll check out our time lapse and there's our little treble hook and let's have a look at this and here's the print oh, we've got a little octa print sign down the bottom there and look at that it belts through pretty fast so that was that was impressive you'll notice i've also got a skull lamp sitting here um, i'll put a time lapse of that one in as well and uh, that's basically it Thanks for watching.